Grace, mercy, and peace be yours in abundance from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. It is my privilege to bring to you the Word of God today as we look at a psalm a day, Keep Satan Away. And before we get, uh, begin, I'd like to sing him 369, Beautiful Savior. Beautiful Savior, King of creation, Son of God and Son of Man, truly I'd love Thee, truly I'd serve Thee, might of my soul, my joy, my crown. Fair are the meadows, fair are the woodlands, robed in flowers of blooming spring. Jesus is fairer, Jesus is purer, he makes our sorrowing spirit sing. Fair is the sunshine, fair is the moonlight, bright the sparkling stars on high. Jesus shines brighter, Jesus shines purer than all the angels in the sky. Beautiful Savior, Lord of the nations, Son of God and Son of Man, glory and honor, praise, adoration, now and forevermore be thine. Have you ever just thrown up your arms in disgust, in frustration? Life has just knocked you down in so many different areas, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual, and you don't know where else to turn. You're not alone. So many Christians in this life are battling all different kinds of, of issues, from disease to famine to, to uh, lack of food to uh, loss of job, um, death, so many different things that Christians around the world are struggling with right now. You are not alone. As you look through scriptures, you see that uh, throughout the Psalms as well. In the, the daily struggle of the psalmist's life, he pours out his soul to God, whoever the psalmist is. Right now, in Psalm 121, we have the Song of Ascents. And the idea is the ascending up to Jerusalem, going up to God's house to worship. The Song of Ascents, bringing, bringing that beautiful music to the Lord. And in the first verse, he says, I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? I just imagine the psalmist at his wit's end, just looking outside and saying, I look at those hills, and I, I can't do it. There's nothing I can do. Where does my help come from? And as soon as he sees those hills, the answer comes back to him right away. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The very creator of this entire universe, the very creator of me and you, we look up at those hills and know that he is the one who gives us the help that we need. And then the psalmist goes on to describe how wonderful this, this God of the heavens and the earth is. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is a shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He'll watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. 
this is one of those psalms that you can have with you uh, on a daily basis, just to remind yourself that when you look up, God is there. Uh, when you look around you, God is there. He is the shade at your right hand. I mean, you put your hand against the table and you see how close that, that shade is, that, that shadow. It's right there. And that's how close God is to you. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit never, never sleep. They never slumber. They never go back on their promises. But they're always watching over you, watching after you, because you mean that much to him. Fellow Christians, when you look up to the heavens and you cry out, where does my help come from? May the answer always come back from the God of heaven and earth who never slumbers nor sleeps, who has your best interests in mind. He sent his son Jesus to suffer, to die, and to rise again for you. If God went to that length to give up his only son, how much more will he care for you? How wonderful it is to know that we have a God who loves us that much. Amen. What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Have we trials and temptations? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend so faithful who will all our sorrow share? Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Are we weak and heavy laden? Cumbered with a load of care. Precious Savior, still our refuge. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Do your friends despise, forsake you. Take it to the Lord in prayer. In his arms he'll take and shield you. You will find a solace there. God be with you till we meet again.